Okay, hello guys. Sorry for being late. Hello sir. Hello sir. Hello sir. Hi sir. Okay. Hello, hello. So guys, today I can't connect my laptop, so I'll teach you over my phone. So I want one of you to share your screen. Okay, sir. I will share you. Okay. Also, uh, now did you try in implementing the last class session activity? Yes, sir. Okay. So, any one of you having any problem in implementing the spinner? Sir, I have a problem not implementing means that the launcher is not working on phone. So, now what's the error it was showing? Means it's not opening. If you're installing and everything is okay, but it's not opening. It's not opening. Yes, is sir. it showing any error in, uh, no, in no, no, Android Studio? No. Did you check the console of the Android Studio? No, sir. Okay, do one thing. Uh, share your screen. Okay, sir. And then run that app. Sir, actually, sir, there is a network problem, sir. I can't run the problem. So I can't attend the previous day's class also. Okay. No issues. Can I share my screen? Yes, yes, I'll share. Sir, can you check my uh, project, sir? Uh, is it not possible for you to share your screen now? Okay, sir, I'm trying. Just try. Sir, sir, did you see my screen? Yes, yes, I can see your screen. Okay. Can you stop okay. sharing or go? Okay, no problem. Uh, share your screen. Let's see your error first. And what about others? Did you guys try? Yes, sir. Okay. So, was it working, Suman? Sir, is it yes. visible? Yes, sir. It's working. Okay. Yeah, it's visible. Run your application. Uh, sir, emulator is not working. I can't run. Connect phone. Uh, sir, connect your You uh, install a uh, visor application and then you see the. It's good. With visor, you can cast your. Cast your the skin, phone skin in the laptop. Over a laptop. Uh, now click on run on, on, uh, Sir, yeah, on I the, click no, already. no 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 on, on the bottom left corner bottom left 
Yeah. Yeah. Option. Yeah. Click on that. Okay. In, uh, yeah. In, uh, increase the size. Wait. Scroll up a little bit. Scroll to right. Is it okay, sir? Just scroll left. Decrease the size. Go to activity. Uh, sorry, the main activity. Oh, it's very hard to check. I think somewhere you have forgot to instantiate an element. You have to make an instance of some element and you have forgot to do that. Which element? Name is there, email is there, gender is there, matter state it is there. For him to do one thing, uh, make a zip file of this uh, project and send it me in, in a WhatsApp. Hello, sir. Yeah. Sir, in this, uh, the main activity is in the abstract classes. Is there any problem in here? Okay, yeah. Just change that abstract. Yes, sir. Remove that, yeah. I remove that abstract. I'll try running the application and uh, check the second Java class also. There's one more Java class. This is class one. Okay. Now try running the uh, application. Click on run, left bottom corner. It's not working. It's working, right? No, not working, sir. Okay, then I click on run on, uh, uh, yeah, on the left bottom corner and see what's the error. Increase the size. No, no click once and increase the size. It should be running. There is no error. I don't know, so it is written in my phone that has stopped. Has, has stopped work. The application will be um, crashed. Go to Logcat. Okay. Increase the size. Click on main uh, the main Java ninety three. Uh, sorry, in a main activity in a Java. Yeah. Bottom. No, no, no. The bottom, bottom, bottom. Yeah. 
Yeah. Click on that. Now decrease the size after after clicking on it. What was the line? Ninety-three, I think. This one. This is your second activity. Activity. Open the manifest. Sorry, second activity is main activity two. So he changed yeah. and he has changed the name. Yeah. Uh, no, click on the manifest, not uh, double click. Okay, go down. Main activity is the launcher activity. Go to main activity again. Go to line number 93. Here is the error, sir. Mm. Uh, there is an extra bracket. Yes, sir. After class. Yeah. Year. Yes. Yeah. Remove that. And now, now remove the bracket from 101. Sir. But you're putting this outside the, the main. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why are you putting after this? Go up a little bit. Sir, your voice is breaking. I can't understand. Now, is it breaking? No. Yes, sir. So, uh, because my up. connection is poor, sir. So maybe it is. Okay. Um, scroll up a little bit. Sir, intent will be start into the uh, submit or uh, set on click listener set under the button. Thing. Yeah. Copy that intent. Of, okay, uh, the your problem from, is here. Yeah, from the ninety-three to the line number hundred. Okay. Uh, now copy that. Remove that bracket. Remove that bracket first from ninety-three. From line number ninety-three. Class after class. After, after class, class there is in a, in a bracket, extra bracket. Remove that. Main activity two dot class. Second bracket, the second bracket to remove course. This one? Yeah. yeah. Oof. Now uh the copy the line from the ninety two to ninety nine. From here to where? Started. Intent the intent the theke copy code start activity of the. Evang tarpor ota ke tumi ei set on click listen er modde entry koro. Cut this. Yeah. Now remove those lines. Okay. Now. Try running it. In, uh, you increase the size of the locket. Open locket. Increase the size. And Open that section where the uh, the verbose is not written. What sir? Again, it's coming in error, right? Yes. So line number ninety में शायद second bracket के बाद एक fast bracket है. एक extra bracket है क्या? हाँ. Uh, the yeah. click on that number. Eighty nine or ninety. Eighty nine or ninety. Second bracket के बाद एक एक तरह से fast bracket है. Why 
डेटा को मेन एक्टिविटी से सेकेंड एक्टिविटी में भेज रहे हैं तो मेन एक्टिविटी खोलो और ना लाइन नंबर ना 29 पे जाओ मेन एक्टिविटी खोलो लाइन नंबर 29 यस ओके ये तो गलत कर दिया पता नहीं सर मैंने नेट पे भी देखा नहीं था ना जावा पे क्लिक करो खोलो फर्स्ट ये ना फर्स्ट वाला खोलो सेकंड वाला खोलो सर फाइल में प्रॉब्लम हो गया तुमने ये सारे फाइल ऊपर होने चाहिए थे रिजल्ट रिजल्ट और सेकंड एक्टिविटी ऊपर में होना चाहिए ऊपर ऊपर ना ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप कर दो ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप करो हाँ 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 रिफैक्टर रिफैक्टर करो सेम चीज सेकंड एक्टिविटी के साथ करो उसके बाद एक बार क्लीन करके बिल्ड कर लो और रिजल्ट सेक्शन कहां चला गया और रिजल्ट सेक्शन जो को लेफ्ट साइड में क्लिक करो कंट्रोल जेड दो बार दबाओ तुमने कई और भेज दिया उसको ये ना कंट्रोल जेड दबा लो अंडू कर लो ओके और एक बार ओके अब चेक करो नीचे वाले में आया रिजल्ट वाला हां हां अब ऊपर सिर्फ ना फोल्डर के नाम पे डालना हां आ गया अब ये सेम करो अभी भी मेरा मेन एक्टिविटी में एरर है ना i डॉट पुट एक्स्ट्रा होगा i i इक्वल टू पुट एक्स्ट्रा नहीं होता है i i डॉट ना लाइन नंबर ना 30 पे वहां पे इक्वल नहीं होगा अच्छा उनके बीच में एक डॉट होगा क्योंकि हमने पहले ही इनिशियलाइज कर लिया i i इक्वल टू बस ठीक है स्किप दबा दो ये ना ब्रैकेट हटाओ और पुट एक्स्ट्रा टॉप 
डॉट बस हो गया सेव तो हां अब हो गया एरर हट गया अब कर रहा हूं तुम लोग ना सेम पैकेज में डालना पड़ेगा ना तुमने अलग-अलग ना पैकेज में डाल दिया था समझ में आ गया हां ओके नेक्स्ट हु इज नेक्स्ट सर अभी भी एरर है यहां पर कुछ एक्स्ट्रा बैक एरर है लॉकेट में जहां पे ना वर्बोस लिखा हुआ है उसको एरर करो लॉकेट में यहां पे देखो ऊपर में ना ये ना वर्बोस ना लिखा हुआ है सर्च के बगल में ये ना सर्च के लिए बड़ा बॉक्स है ना हां उस उसको क्लिक करो और ना एरर पे जाओ अब इस, अब इसको ना सेक्शन को ना बड़ा कर दो कि ना ना सब दिख पाए ऊपर ड्रैग करो अब अब ऊपर जाते रहो एरर कहां से स्टार्ट हुआ है जहां पे भी उसकी ना क्या बोलते हैं ना ब्लू लाइन हाइलाइटेड होगा वहीं पे रुक जाना रुक जाओ एक एक गया नीचे ब्लू लाइन जाते रहो ऊपर जाते रहो ऊपर देख रहे हो स्टार्ट कहां पे हुआ एरर या नहीं 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 ये नहीं और जो ऊपर एकदम टॉप पे जाओ नीचे जा रहे हैं सर टॉप पे जा चुके हैं कहां स्टार्ट हुआ ये टॉप तुम्हारे में इंस्टॉलिंग भी नहीं आया था ना नहीं ये क्या बोलते हैं इंस्टॉलिंग बोल के आया था ऑप्शन नो सर नो एम्युलेटर में ऑन हो गया वो एप्स आया है एम्युलेटर में नहीं आया ये खाली आ रहा है मोबाइल का यही हो गया मेरा एम्युलेटर नहीं खुल रहा तुम ना फोन में ट्राई क्या रन करने का इसको नहीं सर फोन में भी नहीं कर रहा था तो ये फिर से एंड्राइड स्टोरेज डाउनलोड किए थे ना और फिर okay, तो एक काम करो शुभम तुम वही रात तुम फिर रात में आना या साथ में कुछ इतना टाइम पे कर लेंगे ठीक है कोई और ये ना एनीवन एल्स यस सर ये हुइस नेहा सर ओके स्नेहा तुम्हारे तो ना रेडियो बटन का है ना सर रेडियो बटन तो हो गया है एरर नहीं है उधर लेकिन ना वो जगह पे नहीं आ रहा शायद लाइट लाइन में कुछ प्रॉब्लम है और स्पिनर का तो हो ही नहीं मतलब किए थे लेकिन जाभा का प्रोग्रामिंग में प्रॉब्लम हो शायद ठीक है स्नेहा फिर तुम भी ना रात को ना शुभम के साथ आना ये अपना एरर लेके ठीक है ठीक है सर ठीक है तुम्हारा भी ना बड़ा ही है एनीवन एल्स Guys, anyone else? No, sir. Someone was uh, now about to show me the previous class assignment on now uh, this class. Two or three yeah. guys. Sir, I was there. Sir, that day you told yeah. that to use if and else statement. But yeah. Did you try using it? No. No, sir. Okay. Sir, I have done that. Yes. Ah, uh, yeah. So when I gave you the codes also, no, for if and else. No, sir, after pressing Alt Enter, that was uh, still working. So was the code working? The, yes, sir. Ah, uh, ये ये दायिकल स्कोर. Yes, sir, it's working. So now can you now uh, show your screen? Yes, sir. Okay, share your screen and. And no, run the app. Sir, uh, run. I can't run, sir. It will take What? time. Ah, uh, yeah. How much time it will take? Sir, uh, actually, emulator problem, sir. I can uh, send it to you. Uh, I can send the application. You can send the file. Yes, Do one sir. thing. Send me. 
on my whatsapp okay sir okay so do you uh, yeah, does anyone know how to use images yes sir so for setting a background image what do we do tell me what do we do uh, drawable uh, we keep the image in drawable folder and then we use the path मेजर केसेस स्टोर इट इन डिफरेंट एसेट फोल्डर so in asset folder we can put anything but mostly we use it for the storing excel files or na json parsing we use an asset folder but na sometimes we can use to store some images also but na mainly we use the drawable folder yes sir so wait a little bit see if my laptop starts ड्रॉबल so everyone can see the drawable folder yes sir on the left side yes yes sir so it in, so it's inside the resource directory okay where now we can store the images click on that ic launcher ic launcher yeah now double click see in this now format our now images will get stored so uh not do one thing shubham uh not copy any not image uh not copy any image from a desktop or or from anywhere copy yeah copy copy yeah now now, now open up the android studio right click on the drawable folder and paste yes. it yeah कॉपी के बाद क्या करना है और क्या के बाद राइट क्लिक करना है राइट क्लिक हाँ तो राइट क्लिक करते पेस्ट का ऑप्शन आएगा पेस्ट कर दो पेस्ट करने के बाद वो तुमको नाम नाम चूज करने देगा तुमको सेम नाम पे रखना है तो ओके दबा देना अगर तुमको नाम चेंज करना है इमेज वन टू थ्री डालना है फिर कुछ भी डालना है तो तुम नाम टाइप करके फिर ओके दबा दो ठीक है So now, now you can see that now we have a new new image yes, in our drawable yeah. folder. So just now click on it. And one more thing, there should not be any spaces between any folder name or any image name. So now, uh, now, now do one thing, Shubham. Now right click on that image. 
rename. Yeah, no, uh, the go to the refactor. Paste can meet in a third option. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. So now we'll be putting this image on the background of any uh, any uh, this uh, activity. So open any activity where you want to use this image. Activity or XML file? Uh, yeah, in an XML file, sorry. So refactor ke baad? Refractor ke baad na rename pe jana hmm. aur waha se tum file ko rename kar sakti ho. Okay. 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 So, okay. uske baad, ye, ye, kya bata, abhi bata raho, uske baad, oh. so, kya karna hai na, ना जो भी तुम लोग को इसमें जाना है मतलब फाइल में उसको इंप्लीमेंट करना है जिस भी ना पेज में उस इमेज को तुमको डालना है उसका एक्सएमएल फाइल खोलो ना जैसा भी खुला हुआ है गो टू द कोडिंग सेक्शन कोडिंग सेक्शन या एंड द गो अप गो टू लाइन नंबर 7 या 7 तो now add add now one more line here yes press enter yeah add one more line here android small letter android drawable sorry uh yeah, yeah android dot in the background double oh. dots no not double dots yes Background. Dot. Background. Background. Yeah. Space new. 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 I did it drawable to so, create a drawable folder. Man. So first okay. we have to write the slash the file name. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. I'll preview follow. Split follow, split. This one is also split. Too many images be as a Liana. Koi yeni ka kush. Can everyone see? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So with this, we can change the background image of our activity. Now, if you want to put it in a small box, so we now for that now we can use the image view. Okay, like we have the text view to show the text to the user. Edit text to get the text from the user. Button to add the functionality to the page. In same way, we have an image view. And inside the image view, we can put the image. And then with that, now we can also do one more thing. We can add an on-click listener over the image. So whenever we click on that image, we can change the image or we can close the image so we can use all all kinds of functionality just like a button we can use an image also and sir, yeah, say, of... sir humko particularly jaise name mein dena hai name ya email ke liye jaise name ka particularly image dalna hai yahan pe to wo dal sakte hain to wo na chhota wala icon bol rahe ho na ha sir jaise wo view karte hain हां सर जैसे सबका जैसे अलग-अलग इसे नेम रहेगा उसमें क्लिक करने का रहता है हां तो उसके लिए क्या होता है कि तुम जो एडिट टेक्स्ट ना तुमने ना बनाया है ना सॉरी जो ना टेक्स्ट भी ना बनाया है उसी में एक और तुम लाइन जोड़ सकते हो एंड्रॉइड डबल डॉट्स के साथ ड्रॉएबल ठीक है फिर इक्वल देके @ड्रॉएबल और फिर वो आइकन का नाम ना जैसे आपने बैकग्राउंड में दिया है ना इक्वल देने के बाद सेम वैसे तुम वहां पे जोड़ देना पर 
ये सब होगा एंड्रॉइड के बाद अच्छा ये सब तुम्हारा होगा टेक्स्ट ये टेक्स्ट व्यू के अंदर हां टेक्स्ट व्यू समझ गए इस जगह पे हां हां टेक्स्ट व्यू के अंदर पर ये हम लोग ज्यादातर टेक्स्ट व्यू में नहीं यूज करते जो तुम बोल रहे हो वो हम लोग एडिट टेक्स्ट में यूज करते हैं ठीक है ठीक है तो मेरा लैपटॉप स्टार्ट हो गया अब एक काम करो तुम अपने स्क्रीन शॉट बंद कर दो मैं यहां से कर लेता हूं इज इट विजिबल गाइस सब कुछ क्लीन दिख रहा है ओके अब हम लोग बटन का बैकग्राउंड इमेज में डाल के देखते हैं लेट्स सी इफ इफ ना वी कैन ऐड इन अ बैकग्राउंड इमेज टू इन अ बटन और नॉट बिकॉज़ मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम इन इन ना डिजाइनिंग अ यूआई यू हैव टू थिंक दैट डिफरेंटली यू कैन ऐड इमेजेस एनीवेयर इनसाइड अ टेक्स्ट व्यू आल्सो इन अ इनसाइड इन अ एडिट टेक्स्ट आल्सो इनसाइड अ बटन आल्सो समटाइम्स द वी हैव ना राउंडेड बटंस फॉर दैट uh now we can use the external like github libraries like here we have inside the dependencies section we have all 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 these na libraries okay these are from android studio but if you want to use a rounded button not not like this button this is a box box button right it it's in the shape of a rectangle but if we want to use a circular button we can use uh, the uh, the dependency from the github why not we can use a circular viewer and with that now we can have a rounded button but for now we'll be only uh, 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 in, uh, implementing images in, inside the button or an edit text or a text view so let's go to the button code and let's get an image let's take some images do you guys want to know how to uh, how to add style to a button or now should i show you how to add an image what do you want to see first image first image first na okay okay that is that let's use this image open the drawable folder right click on it click on paste let's name it as button image okay now this is the code for our this button the reset button so we have everything completed now what we need to do is just add in a background image to it android background drawable slash to the name 
puerta. Sí, can you guys see the preview? Yes, yes. But there is one thing. Can you tell me the difference between these two buttons? There's a small difference. On, on the appearance part. Cheap. Yeah. This is the first button, the recent button. Is, uh, it it's is looking like a rectangle. Yeah, exact a rectangle. With that, uh, yeah, we don't have any curved edges. But for this button, we have a curved edge, right? Edges with the curves. Yeah. But... Why is that? Uh, uh, because this image is not trying to fill this whole uh, button. So this the image that doesn't know yes. if uh, there is a curved, uh, uh, the curved side or not. So uh, this is the thing why we don't use the buttons. Oh, sorry, the images over a button. For this, what we do? We uh, create an uh, image. We'll create a different image view, zero dp. The things which I was doing with a button, now same thing I'll be doing with a image. I won't be having a reset button now, okay? Let's copy this whole part. We don't need this text. See, now we don't have a button. Now it's an image view. Okay? But for reset, we need a button. Right? Okay. So let's change some codes here as well. We don't have a reset. Uh, reset. Now we'll be using image view. Image view and let's name it as a reset. There will be changing the type casting to image view. Then now inside the button section. We already have to submit. Let's create a code. See, for a button, we use set on click uh, listener, right? Okay. What uh, this means is that whenever we click on that uh, button, what it should do? We are specifying that inside this on click method. Same thing we'll be doing for the image. When we click on that in, uh, image, what should happen? So as now we are now uh, uh, defining it as a reset button. So what we'll do now whenever we click on that image, whatever we have written inside the text box, oh no, inside the edit text, it will get erased, right? Yes. So let's create a on-click list now. See, set on-click listener, new. View on click listener on click. Now let's take the names of the edit text which you want to clear. This is input name, input email, input phone. This is only for now. Input name, input phone. So input name is name, email, and phone. Okay. So how uh, so how can we now make it blank? Can anyone tell? How can we delete everything? Dot save, uh, dot, save. dot save text and then 
Inverted commas. Double quotes. Double quotes. Double quotes and uh, inside. Do we need to write anything? Yes, Space. No, no sir. No, we don't need to write anything. If 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 you are writing a space there, that means you are assigning a character to it to the text box. We don't need to add anything inside there. Guys, uh, now what's in the placeholder? Does uh, no. Does anyone know what's in the placeholder? Placeholder, no, sir. Uh, sir uh, that is only uh, showing showing in edit text when we enter the value that will remove. Yeah. That like what watermark type. Yeah. That's a watermark for an edit text. So whenever you start. Okay, sir. It is the hint. Uh, yeah. hint. Yeah. Hint. Yes, what yes. Uh, here now we now use it as hint. So let's see if this app is not working or not. Sir. Yes. Uh, sir, uh, we have like a, a thousand of picture. If we want to show in our app, then uh, how can we share the, and that that many pictures? Thousands of app, right? Uh, thousands of pictures, sir. Uh, I do want to use in images. Okay, so for that you can do one thing. You can you nah, you will definitely need to be using a database for that. Because each and every time to store the image inside the app and then now nah, nah, publish it on the Play Store, it will be a difficult task. So what you can do is that. You can get the images from the database. You can fetch it like thousand to two thousand, like three thousand image anytime you want. And your app will not try to get the images from the database. So, sir, it is better to store in database uh, than drive in folder. No, if you, uh, you know, if if you place it in the database. Then what it will happen is that you cannot delete that the image anytime you want. You can uh, increase the number of images also. You can put some new images. But inside the drawable folder, if you put any images, then you can only not delete or insert new images on your next update, on the next app update. So each and every time you want to increase an image inside your app, you will need to update your app. So that will be totally coding related. But if you put it inside the database, so you don't need to not touch your app, your app will automatically get the images. It will automatically now retrieve the images from the database. Okay. The simplest approach. Okay. Okay. Can you guys see my screen? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. I sent the APK in WhatsApp. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's try entering some values. A -A -A. Okay, we have a phone number here. Is it working right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we can use an image in place of an, a button, correct? Now, sir, if we wanted to put all the data we have 
entered to store in a database yeah. can, we, can we do it now if you yeah. want to do it that's a more na advanced thing so if you want to but now you can try on your own okay sir yeah no, i me. want to try this data to be stored in a online firebase real time data so that anyone can yes, see yes no, you can do that so many layer yes now you can try do you want okay, to sir. use na fire uh, uh, na firebase for that yes sir online okay, firebase so do one thing try it if you get any errors or na, na if you need any help with the firebase you can reach out to okay. me okay so i'm not telling this to all of you if you want to try any new things go ahead try you, uh you don't need to wait wait for me that i will teach you and then uh, you guys will start trying so i you just uh, start on your own i just working on a sir retrofit for the store the data into the api nice so if you need any help you can ask me okay okay sir okay and now today na shomuk sir was also not telling about a new graph graph project which you guys will be doing okay, okay. so for just to keep that in mind do one thing correctly either you build a ui design okay a nice ui design or you can do the coding part you don't need to do both the things okay sir because yes. because it will be more than a pressurizing task yes sir and before doing that you guys mm -hmm. need to submit me a written assignment mm -hmm. i i want each and every guys to at least take one app one na different app i don't want to see you guys are now using the same app i want to do uh, the 15 different apps name if if uh, if you are 15 guys i want 15 na different app name what are the elements na they are using on on the particular page like in the home home screen you have a search bar so it's an edit text then now uh, you have a navigation drawer okay you can try and uh, you can identify the elements na they are using just write it down or now you can not type it and not send it to me you not just need to write the name of the element sir from the play store na yeah from the play store take any app but now before not taking that app just give that name in the group share that name so that the other guys won't be using that app okay okay, okay so how many guys are here Uh, 16 uh, na, uh, na including me or uh, na excluding me including you sir sir not 16 we are all in a laptop and phone sir there may be 8 or 9 12 12 i think 12 or 11 right so uh, wait let me just look at one two Nine, nine, eight or nine. Okay, so I want eight, eight different apps. Okay, along with all the functionality which na they are using, and at least uh, na target five na different na pages inside the app. Like na, like na you have na login page. For login, login page, what are they using? Then the registration page, then home page, then uh, the settings. option or the account option the profile option take any five na pages and and, and uh, write it down and uh, send it to me before um, what is to sir in a notepad na sir for friday okay. yeah the notepad also you can use or na uh, you can write it also if you want anything okay except okay. to you sir sir matlab एक एप्स को लेके उसमें क्या क्या यूज हो रहा है उसी को लिखना है ना हाँ जब तुमने एक ऐप ने खोला तो एक हाँ, पहला पेज आएगा ठीक है स्प्लैश स्क्रीन हटा दो जो हाँ, पहले के दो पेज रहते हैं जो ना नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट करते हैं ओके ओके 
वॉट इज प्लाई स्क्रीन वो हटा दो उसके बाद से तुम कोई भी पांच पेज पकड़ो उसमें से ओके सर पांच डिफरेंट एक्टिविटीज मुझे वो पांचों एक्टिविटी में क्या क्या यूज हो रहे हैं प्रॉपर ना चाहिए ठीक है ओके सर एंड नो वन मोर थिंग टेक द स्क्रीनशॉट आल्सो यस सर यस बिकॉज़ ना यू गाइस विल ना यू गाइस विल बी ना टाइपिंग द थिंग्स राइट सो आई नीड टू सी इफ ना दोस आर करेक्ट और नॉट ओके सर सो जस्ट ना पुट अ स्क्रीनशॉट देन यू ना राइट द थिंग्स दैट ना मींस दैट दे आर यूजिंग then the next na screenshot then na write the things that they are using okay okay sir okay sir okay just eight things it should be can you send me this na before tomorrow 12 no na before at 2 2 pm okay sir okay sir it will be possible for everyone yes sir yes sir sir can okay. you give one day time One day time. Okay. So how about before ten o'clock tomorrow at night? Okay. Yes, Will it be all right then? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay then. At ten o'clock, everyone needs to submit. And I'm now taking a screenshot of the participants which are here. I need to see each and every your now one of your assignment. Okay. Now for the designing part. This was the image part, right? Now we uh yeah, now we want to now design in a button. Stick Let's use the same thing, but in place of at the rate the drawable and the image name, we'll be using the file name, which where where the design is stored. Okay, we'll be the first thing that now we'll be doing is that we'll be creating an XML file inside the drawable. Let's name it as button design. Inside this, we'll now put our code. I'll tell you what each each uh, each of the line means. But before that, let's see how it's how it's used. Now we'll go to the button. This is our button code. And to use that design, we'll simply use Android. Sorry. Background. Add the red drawable. Good. The button design. Hit. The design change for this button. It changed, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So now, how how to uh, create this XML file? This is the main part. Okay. okay. First, we need to define the shape. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which shape we'll be using? Then the ah uh, na ah uh, yeah, na then the Android library. So this will be our first part. Okay. Next line, we'll be now defining the color. This the solid means this whole whole thing's color. If I use here white in place of this, if I use here <laughs> white, so you can see this part's color got changed, and in the main activity, you can see this the inside part got changed. right so after that defining the shape we'll be defining the inside color what it should be next thing is the stroke what's a stroke can anyone tell what's a stroke yeah 
Does anyone know what's a stroke? No, sir. Okay. So there is a border. Border, yes, sir. Okay. There is a border. I'm uh, now specifying it to be two dp. Okay. Then the border color. And this stroke is uh, defined as a, a border. So this whole part is for the border. First, the shape, then the inside color, then the border. Got it, everyone? Yes. Sir. Now let's now change a little bit. Let's make it as 10 dp. And we'll use here black. Now see. Is there a black black border? Can any uh, you can everyone see the border? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now if we change it to five, the size of the border will change. Did it get changed? Did it change or not? Now, shape is done, inside color is done, border is done. Next part is the corner part. Okay. This, this corner means the left top corner, the right top corner, the left bottom corner, and the right bottom corner. We use the corner tag for that. Sir, we can only do all these things in design part only, not in XML part. This is the XML part. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this file now you can see the ex uh, yeah, the extension here. It's the dot XML. So whatever now we are doing, we are doing in the UI part. We are not doing anything in the Java part. Okay. Okay. Sir. So next thing is the corner. For the corner, we use radius. Because it's not like a circle. You can see it's a, like a semi, uh, sorry. Now like a quarter circle, right? Is it visible, right? Sir, so, please repeat once. Okay, for the corners, we mm -hmm. use Radius. Okay, okay, sir. Got it. Okay. Ah, yes, sir. So here we won't be using a DP because. Sir, change the radius to anything. To how much you want to change? Let's change it to one. No, I understand. See, if we change it to eighteen hundred. Yeah, sir. Yeah, sir. Eighteen thousand. You can understand. Yes, yes. The corner will start shrinking. It's not yes. like an angle. We don't use here a DP. We use DIP. It's not for the angle. Okay. Okay. It, so it will be sixteen. Uh, sorry, now sixty degree. For that time, we'll be using sixty DIP. So first thing we did was we have specified this uh, shape, then the inside color, then the border, then the corner, right? And we don't need the padding here. Padding is not needed for now. Okay, then we'll close the shape tag. So our now design.xml is ready. And as soon as our now design.xml is now ready, we can call it inside the button or the edit text or anywhere. Let's try implementing this file which we have created inside our edit text. Let's see if we, if we cannot do that or not. Hmm. So it's showing, right? Yes. 
So same thing, you can try it with your uh, uh, the designing part also. You guys have created a registration page, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So, so you guys must be having this fields, edit text, the buttons. Yes, sir. So can you guys implement some design with that edit text on a button? But not taking the reference of this the button design which I've created by changing the angles or or by changing the colors. Okay. Yes, sir. And and for color, what do you use? In what color? No, for not choosing a color, if it's not looking good or bad, you use an extent in the website to see. Material docs are material doc. You guys use the material docs, right? Okay. For me, it's HTML color code. Okay, sir. It's it's up to you. You can use anything. Does anyone know how know how to use this? Like if I want I a red color, the text color and the background. Yeah. So just drag this bar to the color you want to implement. Here the values will change. Now so just select code. this value. Yeah. Yes. Just so copy this code. Go to your project and this stroke color is your inside color, right? So I will be changing this inside color. And remember to put oh, sorry, the stroke was for the border. Sorry, sorry. And now remember to put a hashtag. Okay, before entering any color, you need to put in hashtag or else it will show an error. Sir, in the left side, we can change the color also here in the rectangle one. The color is showing in orange and blue. We can change there also. Here? No, in the left side here. The line number. Yes, yes. Yeah. It's, it's up to you, whatever now you want to choose, but I use uh, yeah, but I prefer that HTML color code so I get a, a lot of variety. Plus, when when you want to mix two colors, mm -hmm. right? Now let me show you how. Uh, this is here. Now we are now using only one one color, right? Inside, but in some cases now we can use two colors inside an XML. Now let me show you. See, in this page, I have white, then the white is now fading, and blue is starting in the bottom right. Uh, we have to put DP. This. From what what we have to put? DP from which DP to from which DP. We are using no. no, we can simply use the gradient here. Okay, we don't need to specify the inside color. We don't need to specify the border. Uh, no, the border now you can specify if if if, if you want, but we don't need to specify the inside color. See, I have just now specified here the shape, okay, and then gradient. Gradient means mixing of you know, more than you know, one color. color. Yeah. So here I have one one color at the start, okay. It's blue, so it's now starting from the bottom. Then in the center, it's white, and then at the end, it's totally white. Okay, so now this is how we use on a gradient. But for now, so why now you can you, angle is to now specify on the which na direction it will now fade. For now, it's now fading in the upward direction. So it's an, a 
90 degree angle okay okay so what you you guys have to do is the page you have created the registration page i want you to style it okay put a background image to that page put uh, uh now put some now designs on the button and edit text yeah with the edit text also yeah but, but one more thing i don't want you guys to use a uh, the color inside the edit text let it be white change mm -hmm. the background color okay and the put some na designs on the button not this uh, in not 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 this design try na something unique that you want to do sir yes go ahead you can also change the text view background yes yes now you can change the text to background see the same code i'll yes. be using in inside the text view is done it's changed right mm. same thing you have to do and, and you have to show me but this thing now you will be showing me on the next class not 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 tomorrow okay okay okay, okay sir tomorrow i want your app assignment the five pages okay but anything anyone wants to ask no sir okay so next what now we'll be doing is after after you guys show me your this assignment the app one on the basis of that i will give the project to na na, na design two to three ui pages only to design not to add na functionalities okay. and i will assign maximum of three to four na people not more than that okay sir so you guys will be building some pages mm. and if and if the layout is correct mm. and it matches the requirement i'll be using those layout in the app which i am building now okay sir and after that you will be uh, getting more work to do okay sir okay okay, okay so sir. you guys need to build this page very carefully okay okay just okay. not just to try to match up the standard of the app which uh, we are using now nowadays go through seven or eight apps op open those apps look at the ui how how they are now uh, are selecting the colors which colors they are they are now using where the button should look like even now uh, you can uh, change the position also you don't need to use the same the position if you guys can change the position it will be a very big thing with something new because every na registration page have this this na layout only it's like an a default layout but if you guys can na come up with something new it will be good for you guys only okay sir okay okay sir okay sir so, now there is no pressure you guys can try some new thing and if you guys get any error then i am here to solve it Okay. Okay. And for okay. the night session, uh, who will be coming? The one is Neha, one is Shubham. Anyone else who wants to join at eight eight o'clock or eight thirty maybe? Sorry, your voice is not audible. Can you be a little louder? Can I know your name? Dipanjali Ghosh. Okay, now nah, Dipanjali. So, okay, so now nah, you are having some error, right? So, now, now, uh, now do one thing. Sneha, Dipanjali, and Shubham, you will be attending today's session, the night one. Okay. 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 Ok
Okay, sir. Okay, so if so let's meet at 8:30 then. Okay. 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 And for the other guys, you can try. Uh, now you can start the building the app. Yes, sir. Okay. So with this, we'll end the today's session. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay, okay. You're welcome. And for uh, if for any doubts, uh, you can come to me. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay. Thank you, guys.